Hello and welcome back to Radio Luna Theater's studio series. I am Beatriz Pisano, the artistic director of Aluna Theater, and I am thrilled to introduce you to these experiments in audio storytelling from some of the most exciting theater artists from our trans-American community here in Canada. You are about to hear El Retorno, I Return, a stage play written and adapted for audio by Marilo Núñez. Esta presentación también está disponible en español. How does one return to a country that doesn't want you anymore? How do you hold on to a language that spits in your face and doesn't sound right in your mouth anymore? How do you dance with a partner that is limp and lifeless in your arms? You struggle to hold on to them, their arms dangling at their sides, their neck exposed to your mouth in the most grotesque manner. How do you circumvent history and place your foot, your arm, your cheek, your chest on the land that birthed you when you don't know how or when it became your land? This is how it begins. <sighs> Mommy, how's he doing? Oh, Marisol, you made it. Your father's just fallen asleep. Let's go outside to talk. How are you, hija? He'll be so happy to see you. The stroke was... Thank God we got him here just in time. If it had been any longer... But the doctors are all amazed at how well he's doing. No paralysis, and his speech seems to be okay. Oh, good. That's good. Uh, where's Carolina? Getting us coffees. Do you want one? I can text her. No, I'm fine. Gracias. He was fine the day before, and then at breakfast this morning, your sister said he started slurring his words and couldn't lift his right arm. She called out to me, and as soon as I saw him, I knew we had to get him here as soon as possible. He's been under so much stress lately, Marisol. I'm actually not surprised this happened. Stressed? What is he stressed about? The elections in Chile. Oh my God, why does he work himself up so much about the politics of a country he no longer lives in? Ay, papa. Your father's worst nightmare, Piñera, got elected. It's like he's reliving the 70s all over again. It's 2010, for God's sake. Piñera is not Pinochet. But you know how he gets... <sighs> He was so upset when the election results came in, yelling at the television, drinking too much, getting very worked up. Veronica? He'll be so happy to see you, hija. Mari, you're here. <laughs> Why aren't you resting, amor? The doctors explicitly said that rest was going to help you recuperate. Papi, how are you feeling? Oh, just fine, hija. The doctors are taking good care of me. You'll be more fine if you rest, Jaime. I feel good, I do. The doctors say I'll be as good as new, so... You need to stop reading Chilean newspapers and watching Telesur, papi. But didn't you hear? That bastard Piñera got in. You shouldn't worry about that, papi. That right-wing bastard got in. <sighs> Calm down, Jaime. Getting excited like this is what put you in the hospital in the first place. Why is Carolina taking so long with the coffees? I'll be right back. Don't let him get too excited, okay? Yeah, yeah, no need to overreact, my love. Your mother worries too much. Because she loves you. I know, I know. Ah, it's so good to see you, hija. You don't visit with your papa as much as you used to. I know, I know, work's so busy. But I promise I will from now on. The doctors say I should be up and ready to go home in a couple of days. You've really scared us, papi. You've got to stop worrying about what's going on in Chile. It's been over 30 years. Chile is going to hell, Marisol. But why not just focus on your life here in Canada? Did you come here to give me a lecture? Papi, you had a stroke. It's moments like this when I think maybe we should have gone back when we had the chance. What are you talking about? At least if I was there. But we couldn't go back. If we'd all been there, then maybe... We would have been able to make some kind of difference. There was a dictatorship. Bulgaria. That was our chance. Mari! Bulgaria? 
Bulgaria. I got you a coffee. Mm. Mm. Thanks, Kato. What about Bulgaria? Jaime, I thought you were supposed to be resting, not talking about things from the past. What does Bulgaria have to do with Chile, papi? Okay, let's leave your father to rest now, girls. Chico Montesino made the return. He was brave. He was the kind of compañero one can look up to. No, no. This conversation is not happening. Why not, mami? Your father has just had a stroke. He doesn't know what he's talking about right now. They've given him too many drugs. Veronica, we should have gone back. Back where? I'm so confused. Jaime, you promised me we would never talk about this. Were you thinking of going back to Chile? Why didn't you ever tell us? Jaime, please. Hospitals are not for having these kinds of conversations. They have the right to know. Know what? Oh my God, why am I always the one that has no idea what's going on in this family? Bulgaria was... A part of the past. That's all there is to it. No. It was our way to go back to Chile. El Retorno. We were part of El Retorno. El Retorno? What's that? We Chilean exiles were dispersed all over the world after the coup. And the Chilean resistance made a call out to anyone who would want to help them fight against the dictatorship in Chile. Fight? Like with guns? No, 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 Carolina. Fight, yes, but not in the way you think. But you always told us we went there because you were on a sabbatical. (laughs) I was working at Sears, Mari. You can't take sabbaticals from a place like Sears. We went to train. It was a one-year training program. Latin Americans in exiles, they were all invited to take part. In what? Jaime. What kind of training? I remember we had to tell everyone we were going to Spain. Well, yes, of course. I mean, if anyone had known what we were actually doing. What would have happened to us? Bulgaria was a communist country at the time. And everyone hated, hates, communists. Bulgaria? was not an easy place for us as a family. Chile. Their return to Chile. That was all we ever wanted for you girls. Chile was all we ever heard about in our house. Chile, the wounded country. El país herido. Chile, the bleeding country. El país sangrando. Chile, el país que nunca debimos haber dejado atrás. The beauty of the Andes Mountains, the family we left behind. The songs that don't sound the same here in the coldness of this new country. Ah, ja, niñas. The plan was always to go back. We were going to be in Canada, what, for a short period, a few months. Talking about Bulgaria is going to bring up too many ghosts. <gasps> Chinito. Oh my God, Chinito. Why did we call him Chinito? Oh, and remember the jankies, the little plums? They were cherries. And the sheep grazing in the field by where we lived. I wonder where he is now. His father was the mayor of his town in Chile, you know. Oh, what was his name? I can see his face. La Jime was his mother's name. We did meet some incredible people while we were there, Jaime. Many good people. It was a good moment in our lives, Vero. We needed to return to Chile because we needed to create La Revolución, the revolution that was going to kick out the military dictatorship, the right, the powers that were invading all of our continent. We were going to create a just society, all of us, together. That was the plan. A very noble plan, but unrealistic. It would have worked out if it had more help, if it had more resources. We were treated very well when we got to Bulgaria. But why do you think that was, Jaime? We were put up in a nice building with other families. Everything was paid for. It's because we were... Hans, Jaime! We were there to spread communist propaganda everywhere. It's because we were Chilean revolutionaries. Idealists. Who had experienced a socialist government in our country. Imagine, girls. We were the only country in all of Latin America, maybe even the world, that had democratically elected a socialist president. Unheard of. If we're really going to talk about our time in Bulgaria, Jaime, we can't talk about it blinded by the illusions and dreams of the 1970s. We have the right to know about Bulgaria, mami. Carolina Chinito and I used to play these games. Marisol, you were 10 years old. 
And Carolina was just five. But we remember. We were going to fight the dictatorship together. Three warriors fighting against oppression and injustice. We were going to make sure our parents were protected. We were going to fight for our parents, with our parents. We were never a normal family. We were always different, with different values than everyone else around us. A family vacation? We didn't go to Hawaii or the Bahamas. No, you took us to the Soviet bloc. The trip of a lifetime. Okay. Okay, you're right. You both deserve to know the truth. Jaime, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And together, as a family. Air Canada Flight 797 to Sofia, Bulgaria. 1979. We flew out of Toronto on a Tuesday. It was cold for April. The black sky was full of stars. We were fugitives in the night. The passports, Jaime, you have them? Yes, I have them right here in my jacket pocket. All four of them. And Tito knows what time to pick us up. He's always late, that guy. <laughs> yes, amor. He'll be here. And the toothpaste. Huh? I asked you to pack the suitcase. It's not here. We can always buy toothpaste over there. They have toothpaste in Bulgaria. But I want our toothpaste. <sighs> it's not underneath the sweater? Look. Here, here it is. You see? You wrapped it in the sweaters? Niñas? Niñas, are you getting ready? Where's my Pippi Longstocking doll, mommy? Check under the bed. Oh, Carolina, how does your hair always get so messy? Let me redo your hair. Come here. I'll start taking the suitcases down. We're almost ready. Mommy, are you going to be happy over there? <laughs> what does that mean, Marisola? Of course I'm going to be happy. Ow! You're pulling too hard. Then sit still. Uh, yeah, Tito's downstairs. The car is full to the brim with our stuff. It's just like when we left Chile, Vero. Yeah. Ready? Wait, wait. We need to take a photo before we leave. Ah, yeah. Carolina, come over here beside me, and Marisol, stand beside your father. Ready? Everyone say cheese. 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 Complain, Marisol. At least you have legs to climb. There are children in other parts of the world who don't oh, have. But I'm so tired, mommy. Oh, uh, where are the keys? Where did you put them? The boy gave them to you downstairs, didn't he? He seemed like such a nice young man, even if I couldn't understand a word he said. But he couldn't even help us up the stairs. Ah, they're here in my jeans. Oh. Yeah. What do you think, girls? Our new home. This is it, Vero. I love it. Look, Caro, we have our own bed to share next to Mommy and Papi. There's no kitchen. No, because we have a communal kitchen. What's communal? It means we will be sharing it with other families. It's not like our place in Toronto. Well, the important thing is we're here, safe and sound. We're all together. Yeah, uh, I'll bring in the rest of the bags. Okay, niñas, let's get into our pajamas and straight into bed. Been a very long flight. And tomorrow morning, you'll be going to your new school where you'll be able to meet some new friends. Will Paloma be there? No, no, my love. Paloma's in Canada. Sleepy sleep now, okay? We've had a very long trip. <gasps> Last one. Shh, the girls are in bed. It's really small, don't you think? We'll have no privacy. We'll make it work. Is someone going to give us a tour tomorrow? We don't even know where we're going to be. Will they have translators for us? Uh, oh, 
it says here we're to meet everyone at the main hall. The girls have to... They won't split us up, will they? We don't know anyone else, Jaime. I don't want us to be split up. No, no, no. We're going to be together, I promise. <sighs> what have we done, Jaime? We've taken the girls out of school, away from everything they love, and, and we're throwing them into a world that we know nothing about. I never thought I would say this, but I miss Toronto. I miss all of our friends. We just got here. Let's find our bearings. Hmm? Come here, my love. This will be good for us. One year to really figure ourselves out. You promised you would give me one year. Our daughters are the main reason I want us to do this. I don't want them to grow up not knowing what their country is, what their language is, and who they are. Mommy? Mm -hmm. I'm thirsty. Go to sleep, my love. Is the water okay to drink here? <laughs> yes, of course. It's perfectly good drinking water. Ah. See? Okay. Now, let's really go to bed, okay? Good night. Good night, mommy. Good night, mommy. Us too, Jaime. I'm exhausted. Good night, papi. Good night, papi. Good night, hijas. Tomorrow begins your new adventure. <laughs> Ow! Hi, I'm Chinito. Chinito? My dad calls me that because of my eyes. It's rude to throw things at people you don't know. And you're going to fall off that tree if you're not careful. When did you get here? Last night. I'm Carolina. This is Marisol. We're not supposed to say our real names, <gasps> Carol. I won't tell. Not even under torture. Come on. You're going to love it up here. No one can touch us up here. We're okay down here. Thanks. It's easy. But I'll help you if you want. Here, take my hand. No, thank you. What are you, scared? No, I just don't feel like climbing a tree right now. I'll do it. No, we're fine right here. When did you arrive? We've been here a month already. The food's kind of weird. Weird? How? Yeah, they put sugar on the pasta. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And they make us eat this lumpy, gross chocolate pudding. Yeah. And, and they don't let you get up from the table until you eat it all. <gasps> Muddy, I don't like it here. What are you scaring her for? We can't go home, Carol. Mom and Dad are at school. I'll train you guys to fight if you want. Fight? We have to fight? Fighting is bad. Okay, enough. Stop scaring her. Are you coming up? Mm, uh, Look at this view. <laughs> it's like a new world. <gasps> oh my God, will you look at that? The sky is pink, orange, and purple. Oh. Mm. And these jankies are delicious. Jankies? What are jankies? The best cherries in the world. Mm. Ow! <laughs> Stop doing that! Scaredy cat? I'm not scared of anything. Yes, you are. Shut up. Uh, I'll prove it to you. Uh, I hate trees. Put your foot there and your hand here. Mighty, you're going to fall. Then Mom will kill you. I don't want to climb your stupid tree. Come on. No. Here, take my hand. Oh, you need to see the sky from up here. I, I can't do it. Wow, will you look at those mountains? And the rivers of silver and gold flowing everywhere. I want to see. I want to see. <gasps> oh, watch out. There's the bad conquistador. He's coming to drain our land of its riches and kill the Mapuches. Oh, no. <gasps> it will all be mine. I am the conquistador that kills all of your dreams. All of the silver and bananas, the <laughs> copper and the gold, mine, all mine. We need to stop him. 
How? Climb up the tree and I'll show you. Uh, how about if we are the shipmates at sea? We'll stay down here. You're in the crow's nest, okay? La niña, la pinta y la Santa Maria. Capitana, we need to move the ships faster. <gasps> the waves are too big, senor. The men are dying of hunger and there's no food left. Keep it moving. We must reach paradise soon. I can see it just on the horizon. <laughs> <gasps> But look! The Mapuches are coming! <gasps> Ayelena and Lautaro! Let's join them! Si. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading, Amor? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, just um, some notes from school. Oh, aren't you sick of school? It feels like we're always either at school learning about... Lenin and the Cuban Revolution, or we're making sure the girls are okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pamor, let's forget about everything else for a bit. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? Oh, 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 nothing. I just have a lot on my mind. Good night, then. <laughs> it's not the pillow's fault, mi amor. Ven aquí. Jaime, are you having a good time? Tell me the truth. Is this what you expected it would be like? Uh, I'm failing all my classes. I can't understand the language and... Veronica, <sighs> you just need to embrace this new journey. That's all. Read the books. We're learning new things. Meeting new people. It's exciting. The, even the girls have made a friend. El Chinito. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. For you? No. For all of us. Think about the day we go back to Chile. I want you to see it. My sisters, your father, your brothers, all waiting for us with te con leche, warm panamasal, empanadas de queso, mm, oh, my favorite cheese empanadas. Imagine, they'll all be waiting for us at the airport. We'll be so... Jaime, we'll be living under a dictatorship. Don't forget that. El Pinocho is still in power over there. I can't do this alone, Veronica. I know. But don't you worry about what we're putting them through? No, because they'll be fine. They're okay. Kids are resilient. I just feel like a terrorist sometimes. A terrorist? We're learning how to transform a society, actively changing the masses with our words and with political action. People are dying and disappearing by the hundreds every day. We need to be prepared to win our country back. <laughs> Mommy! Oh, I'm here, Amor. I'm here, my love. Shh, shh, shh. Enough! Okay! Come on, por favor, compañeros! The party is saying that things in Chile are starting to get worse. The milicos are kicking the shit out of the people. And the world is not even aware of what's really going on in Chile. And what, what do we do? Here, we're powerless. We need to help those on the inside. We need to let the world know that our fellow Chileans are dying under this repression. Let's put on a peña. Raise some money to send back to them. We can make empanadas. Great idea, compañero. Me and the other women can volunteer to make them. Fantastic, compañera. <sighs> Compañeros, this letter arrived yesterday. The party is asking for help immediately. They're asking if some of us here at the school can go back to Chile. But right Psst. now. Psst. Marisol, want to get out of here? This is so boring. Yeah. Caro, are you coming? Okay. Should I tell mom? No, no. she knows where we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we play a different game today? No more house. Let's be guerrilleros, like Che and That's Fidel. That's so boring. There's no girls in that game. Plus, I'm never allowed to be Che. Why don't we play a rest? Okay, fine. Let's go to the orchard. We can build our house there, in that old abandoned building. But Mommy said we need to stay close by. 
They're in one of their stupid meetings, Carol. They won't know we're gone. Plus, we're just down the hill. Come on. Last one, there's a rotten egg. Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> I know, say, no say. I, I'm willing to go, but, but how are we going to manage it? Who's paying for the tickets for us to go back to Chile before the year is over here? Hi, mi compañero. We, we respect and admire you. You know that. But isn't the party looking for more militant members to be there? On the front lines? You were not a political prisoner. We all know being under torture gives one a, a certain... I resent that, compañero. This is not a competition. I am more than ready to volunteer for the cause. This is not simply a question of showing up, Bo. I'd like to know what everyone is planning on doing with the kids. We can talk until we're blue in the face about the cause, our allegiance to the party, or how much torture one endured. But who is thinking of the kids? Are we all actually thinking of taking our children back to Chile? In the state that it's in well, right now? compañera, wh wh what the hell do you want us to do with them, huh? Leave them here? Abandon them? No, po, no, po, compañera. No, 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 not at all. But I think we need to have... Veronica. But what are we going to do with the kids? We will come up with a plan, a safe plan. Together, all of us. But we need to take action now. Who's ready to go? Huh? There's so much family over there. Yeah. You heard of me? Well, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to go now. Oh, and the table where we paint the protest signs can go over here. Yeah, that's great. And and let's reinforce the door so that the milicos can't get in. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend we have hammers and nails and we're nailing these boards to the door. Good idea. What can I do? This is our bed, right, Chinito? Mm -hmm. And we're lying in the dark? A and then we hear noises. Yeah, like military noises. Loud banging and military boots hitting the concrete. And and what am I supposed to do? Oh, you give me the noises from the milicos. Okay, let's practice. <sighs> okay. <gasps> what was that noise, Humberto? What was that noise? Nothing, Hime. Just, just go back to sleep. Someone out there? No, no, it, it's nothing. Go and check, Humberto. Please go and check. What do you do? Nothing. Just stay still. Easier if you turn yourself in. We just have a few questions for you. Humberto? Humberto, where are you? <laughs> Was that too scary? Uh, no, no, it was just perfect. Uh, what do you think, Chinito? Mm, my dad said that they were more brutal. They came through the front door screaming, swearing, kicking. It, it, it... I'm not gonna swear. But not at my dad's house, Chinito. He said they didn't bother coming in. Okay, well, let's do it again then. What an asshole. How dare he say that to me in front of everyone? I am just as entitled as anyone else to be in that room. Why didn't you tell me about the letter? I'm just so sick of this inaction, sick of not doing enough. I'm going to explode. Chile is at war, and what are we doing? All we do is blah, 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 blah. Talk, 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 talk. I'm sick of it. Those assholes think that I can't do it? We need to go there now. Now! Our compañeros in Chile are telling us that they need us. But we can't us. just leave, Jaime. We need to finish the whole program. They won't give us the return tickets back to Chile unless we finish. What if we go back without their help? We have some money saved up. We can leave right away. Are you out of your mind? We need time to prepare. Prepare the girls for... We can leave them with Sonia and Alberto. Alberto mentioned to me that they're not going to make their return. Are you crazy? Out here we are useless. I'm a coward if I stay here. We need to be there. Fighting with them. Without our daughters. I'm not saying abandon them. I'm just saying keeping them safe here while we go off to fight. Andate la mierda, Jaime. Allende was on the radio. 
I remember all the adults hovering around the radio. School was canceled that day, and I was so happy. I didn't know why the parents looked so sad. Mommy and Papi sat in the kitchen listening. They were crying and holding each other. Surely this will be the last opportunity for me to address you. The Air Force has bombed the towers of Radio Portales and Radio Corporación. Workers of my country, I have faith in Chile and its destiny. Other men will overcome this dark and bitter moment when treason seeks to prevail. Go forward knowing that sooner rather than later, the great avenues will open again where free men will walk to build a better society. Long Long live live Chile. Chile. Long Long live live the the people. people. Long Long live live the the workers. workers. These These are my my last last words. words. And then the Malikos came? They broke down all the doors. At Dad's work, they arrested everyone. Shall we do it? Yeah, I'll play your dad. Okay, and I'll be one of the Malikos that comes to arrest you. Can I be the general guy? Sure. I need a list of all the communists and socialists in this place. Speak up, or we'll take you all in. They were meaner, Caro. They swore. Speak up, pieces of shit, or we'll take you in. I don't swear, Mari. But you have to, otherwise it doesn't feel scary enough. Right, Chinito? Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, but don't tell Mom. Speak up, you pieces of shit, you motherfuckers, or we'll take you all in. Eh, over there. Pedro Pérez, socialista, and Sergio Enríquez, comunista, Claudio Sánchez, Mir, Jaime Fuensalida, del Mapu. Split them all up, now! Why am I being arrested? Put him in the room, lock him up. He's a no-good piece of shit. That's good, Caro, and remember he was barefoot. Take his socks and his shoes off. Uh, uh, Why am I being arrested? You are accused of being a peasant activist motherfucker and for possession of arms. Plus, you're a piece of shit. Take these assholes, these motherfuckers, to the truck. They're going to Tejas Verdes. Incomunicados. Si, mi general. Move it, motherfuckers. What is your name, you piece of shit? Jaime Fuensalida. Jaime. Fuensalida. Uh, we know each other. Shut the fuck up. No, you dated my sister. You I... speak again and I'll bash your head and shut the fuck up. You're free to go. What? Did you hear me, shithead? Go before I change my mind. Uh, th- thank you. Just fucking go. Okay, so now I'm mommy at the door waiting for you to come back from prison. Oh, <sighs> Jaime, they let you go? They let you go. How? Yes, they... We have to get out of the country. Fast. Where are we going to go? To Canada. I thought I would never see you again. I love you. I love you. I think we should go home now, Mari. <sighs> Mommy said that we had to be home in time for dinner. But we just started. And maybe we can continue the game tomorrow. Yeah, okay. We better hurry or else we'll get soaked. Ready? Last one, there's a rotten egg. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, wait for me! (laughs) It won't work any other way. I've explained this to you. And what's going to happen when we get there? Do you have a plan? The party is offering us this opportunity. We need to be there. If that is the option, then you're on your own. Veronica, it would only be for a few months. It's been six years since we left Chile, Jaime. Six fucking years. You think it's going to be a few months? You need to be realistic. You want to go over there and be a hero, save your beloved country while your children are... They will be safer here. How much of yourself are you willing to give? Do you surrender your soul, your heart, your body... Are you telling me that you prioritize revolution and the fight for justice over everything? Do you? With all my heart. Really? Yes. 
I will die for my country. Well, you and I are made of different stuff then. You have to decide right now. It's us or them. Veronica, por la pucha madre. You want to take them with us where they you might... You are actually thinking about leaving our girls here without us. Fuck you, Jaime. I'm not going to abandon our children. We're not abandoning them. For Christ's sake, Veronica, stop being so fucking overdramatic. Over there, they will be picked up with us. We'll be living in hiding the whole time. What kind of life you is that? You brought us here. You brought us here, Jaime. No. We. We did, Veronica. I can't be here right now. I need some fresh air. Mommy! Oh, girls, you're soaking wet. I'm cold. Let, let's dry you up. Weren't you leaving? Where are you going, puppy? Uh, uh, I forgot something at school. I'll be back in a bit. Can I come with you? No, 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 my love. Uh, you stay here with Mama, okay? <laughs> Let's dry you off and get you out of those wet clothes. And then why don't you go down to Chinito's apartment for an hour while I make dinner, okay? What happened, Mommy? Just for a little while, you can play in the hallway. I'm hungry, Mommy. I know, I know, but... I need to make dinner. Mommy forgot. Here, take these apples for you and Chinito. But we just got home. Mommy, is Papi coming back? He'll be back soon, okay? Just go and play. Come on, Caro. Chinito's waiting for us downstairs. the house you want us to play in? It's got no walls. We can fix it. See those bricks over there? Ginito, it's perfect. Yeah, we can rebuild the walls. It's like our own little house. Okay, shall we start, compañero? <clears throat> Compañeras, do you declare with all your hearts that you dedicate <sighs> your life to the struggle? That you will be with the men and women who are fighting for our country? with those who have sacrificed their lives for the cause. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I don't want to play this game. <sighs> Why not? I want to go home. You always want to go home. Don't be such a baby. I don't want to play anymore. You can't go home without me, and I don't want to leave yet. <laughs> Carolina, it's okay. We can stop. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. She's just being stupid. <sighs> Compañera, we can't let emotions get in the way of the fight. Is Papi going to come back? Where's your dad? I want to go home now. Mommy, please. It's okay. It's okay, Carol. Let's just rehearse it one more time and then we'll go, okay, Carol? Let's build the house. Can you help me make the table? I'll light the fire. I'm the mother, you're the daughter, and Chinito the dad, of course. Why do I always have to be the daughter because you're younger now can you please go out and get some water for our tea huh <sighs> yes mother the news coming from the underground is not good what did you hear we need to prepare we need to be ready they're coming for us i don't want them to get us i don't want to be arrested papa Shh, don't be scared, hija. They won't take us away. They won't separate us. Oh, but they will. They'll make us disappear like they did the others. We'll never see... We'll be ready. We will fight them all. Let, let's make a wall to keep them out. Hasta la victoria siempre. Allende, Allende, Allende está presente. Stop, stop. What will mommy and papi say? They'll be proud. We are becoming stronger on our own. Se hache -E. Chi! Stop it! L -E. Stop Le. it! Stop Le. it! Chi! 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 Ow. Le! Don't Le! Le! Me. Guys, stop! Stop! She no, started no. it! Ow! 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 Ow. Ow. Why can't sorry. we just play a normal house? Carol! Niñas! Marisol! Carolina! What in God's name is going on here? Marisol, what have you done to your sister? 
Chinito, your mother's going to kick your ass if you don't go home right now. I've been looking for you for over an hour. Is Papi back? Let's go home now. Marisol was being mean to me, Mommy. She hit me. Marisol, why can't I trust you to take care of your sister when I'm not around? You made our father leave. You made him leave, and now he's never going to come back. I hate it here. I hate it here so much, and I hate you. <gasps> Let's go home. <laughs> Hola. Pero. Pero. And the girls. Are they okay? Mm -hmm. You know Maruja from class. The woman who lives in the next building. She. She jumped off her balcony this morning. What? She just jumped. Oh my God. This place. Where are the girls? They're in the kitchen. I have to get out of here for a while. I'm sorry we fought, Veronica. I really am. I think they're beginning to understand what's going on. I hit Marisol. What? She's fine. She's fine. What do you suggest I do? I don't know. Only you know that. But what did you think was going to happen when you were told that you were going to have this opportunity? Didn't you think about that? Didn't you? But to abandon our children. They'll be safe. You're actually contemplating leaving our children. We made the decision to come here, Veronica. We both made it. And when one is fighting for a revolution, one has to sacrifice. You know what I've realized here, Jaime? I'm not like them, like those revolutionaries. I'm not like those other women. Those revolutionaries are our friends. We are not revolutionaries, Jaime. You are not a revolutionary. <gasps> Papi! You're not lost, Papi! Ah, hi, mi amores. What were you doing? We were setting up the kitchen. Mm. Mommy said we could help her make cheese empanadas. Mommy thought they would cheer you up. Cheer me up? Come on, girls. Let's go. Mari, you can grate the cheese, and Carol, you can help me with the dough. <coughs> Pero... <coughs> Papi... Are you okay to continue? You're not too tired? No, 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 no. I, I'm fine. Veronica? Let's continue. You had given me the cutting wheel. I was in charge of the cheese. There was a tricycle. Some kid had forgotten their tricycle in the kitchen. You decided to ride it instead of helping. Uh, I was five. So we're there, making the empanadas. I was in charge of the cheese, only a little pile in each one. Suddenly, the door closes, and the kitchen is dark and warm. The smell. So warm, so claustrophobic. The smell is what I can't get out of my head. I feel so hot. And where were you, puppy? I was in the apartment. You're teasing me for riding the tricycle in the kitchen. Your main older sister. Who else was in the room with us? Was there anyone else there? Was there? No, I don't think so. Oh wait, Chinito's mom stuck her head in at one point and made a joke. I remember, Mommy, you didn't laugh. Oh yes, Lahima was always trying to make your mother laugh. Mommy, you were concentrating on rolling out the dough. I'm trying to ignore the empty pit in the middle of my stomach. Marisol is quietly grating the cheese while I roll out the dough. The ball of dough that swims in the bubbling oil is beginning to turn black. The ball is to keep the oil from burning, my sister used to say. I am comforted by the empty sound of hot oil, like it's sucking the sound, the oxygen, away from me. Then I see it. This creature, this mouse in the corner of the kitchen. I am frozen in place. He is gray and no bigger than the palm of my hand. Gado, can you pass mom the tea towel? I'm frozen in place and I can't move. Carol. 
Mom needs a towel now. Suddenly, the mouse begins to move in my direction. I jump. You jump and scream. I remember I heard a loud sound in the hallway. From behind me, I feel a push. As I begin to turn, Garol is trying to hide behind my legs. She is pressing herself hard against my thighs. Mama, it's getting closer. It's the smell that hit my nostrils first. As I turn, my hand hits the pan's handle and I see the oil splattering towards... I can hear someone screaming. Screaming louder than I have ever heard someone scream. I move to protect her from it. In a split second, it will splatter all over her little face. Mama! 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 I smell burning flesh in the air. I stare straight at Marisol, who is in shock. Carol is screaming so loud and pointing. The smell is overwhelming. Blackout. I black out. The girls are asking for you. They want to see you. Chinito found a rusted old merry-go-round in the fields behind the building. All the kids are so excited. Why won't you let them come in and see you? No, not like this. They miss you so much. Not like this, I said. Okay, okay, shh. Have they been treating you okay here? I want to go home, Jaime. In a few days. We've set up the main bed for you. I want to go home. I know, but you just need to heal before to we... To Canada, with my daughters. Canada? Are you ready, Mrs. Fonsalida? No, 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 Jaime, please. I can't. I can't do it, please. It's, it's please. the only way you're going to get better, mi amor. The doctor said it's no. the... Please, Jaime, 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 Jaime! I couldn't move. I couldn't leave. They would wrap her hands in this gauze. It was dripping in this oil. The next day, they would just rip these things off her hands and the blood would squirt everywhere. So the pain was... Ah. And they did this treatment to her every day for a month. But in the end, her hands, they, they completely healed. Not a scar, not a, a mark anywhere. It's a lot to remember. It just makes me realize how important it was and is for us to be together as a family. I'm really glad we did this. It was important for all of us. But I do need a little break. I'll be right back. Jaime, you're okay? Oh, yo, yo, yes, of course, my love. I'll go with you, mommy. Papi, were you really going to leave us there? Go to Chile without us? Ay, Marisol. I want you to know what I was thinking at that time, okay? I didn't wake up one day saying... Yes, this is how I feel about the world. I guess I must have been 11 or 12 when I became aware of the inequality in the world. You keep asking me, why did we go there? Why did we go to Bulgaria? Returning seemed like the only way to save our country, to save ourselves from this inexplicable sadness we had inside. Exile. Something very unique happened in Chile, huh? There had been an experiment, one that had never been done anywhere in the world. The left came to power through elections. I remember the day Allende won. I remember that overwhelming feeling of victory. The whole country was dancing and singing in the streets. The celebration, it was humongous. It was 
big. It was big, big. You can't imagine how big it was. Thousands and thousands of young people jumping in the streets of Santiago. And something awoke inside of me. I knew, I knew at that moment that I wanted to be part of that change. Allende and the Popular Unity Movement offered us the dream of a better country, of a better world. So when the opportunity to make a better world presents itself, you just take it. You might not know what that meant to me or to us at that time. You take so many of these things for granted. But the dream was to create a new society, one in which we would all have access to health care, education, and food, human rights. It wasn't perfect. I know that now. The plan to return, that was a last grasp at making that dream come true for you, for our children. I wanted that more than anything. And I didn't know, none of us knew what exile would do to us. The pain of it, it was like an open wound. And the only thing that could begin to heal was hope. Hope of a different life. Hope of a return. The hope of el retorno. I get it, papi. I do. We had no chance, Marisol. I don't know. There was no plan, and I was naive. You weren't naive, Papa. You were fighting for your country. But you chose us. Yes, I did. I chose you. Do you think you failed? The fact that you didn't go back, that maybe we should have gone back? Failed? No. Sometimes, you know... I think maybe we could have done it, but who knows if things would have been different for Chile if, if el plan del retorno, no sé. We were naive, Mari, very naive. And you'd never return now? No, 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 not now. Yeah, I'd be living there without you and your sister? No. You know, Papi, the other day I heard a song. I'll play it for you later. It's called Latino America by Calle 13. Ah, the Miami. They're Puerto Rican. Ah, yeah, yeah, because Calle 13 is where all of the Latin shops are, you know, Calle 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it made me so sad, papi. Sad? Why? There were the Andes Mountains in the background in the video and a little boy running. He looked just like Chinito. And I felt so angry, so angry that I couldn't... That I didn't grow up seeing that. I never got to experience it. Latin America, Chile. I don't know what that's like. Yes, but, but, but you have your life here. You know this country better. I'm Canadian, puppy. North American. Not Chilean. But why are you sad because of that? Of course you're Chilean. It's inside of you. And at the same time... Canada, this is an amazing country, and it's your country. It's mine as well, of course. You know, maybe I feel 70% Canadian and 30% Chilean. And even if all of my friends are Chilean, and even if I am constantly thinking and talking about Chile, and even if my English is still not very good, <sighs> I'm so sorry, hija. I'm sorry that I couldn't be a... Che Guevara. No, papi, don't say that. Mari, I want you to understand something. I am not connected to Chile only for sentimental reasons or emotional reasons. Well, yes, for all of those things too, of course. But more importantly, it is because Chile was an example. It was a laboratory. Oh, sure, today they say, oh, Chile is one of the most advanced countries in Latin America. But at the same time, it is the country that has the most pronounced inequalities between the rich and the poor. I am fighting against that. 
That's what I am fighting for. It's that what I was fighting for back then, and it's that for what I am fighting for now. It's not a nationalistic Chilean thing. That I'll be Chilean until the day I die? Yes. That the Chilean national anthem fills me with emotion? Sure, it does. But so does the Canadian anthem. I know, Papi, and I feel the same way too, fighting for this for all of Latin America. I get it. For the whole world, Marisol. For wherever there is exploitation and injustice. I believe that socialism is the only solution. It is the only answer. I continue to believe that. Yes, I know that it is very idealistic, but honestly... I feel that someday soon, because things just can't go on the way that they are, wasting so much money on things that don't really have any human value, wasting resources and money when there are people who don't even have a drop of water to drink or a piece of bread to eat. I used to have nightmares all the time when we were in Bulgaria. Yes, I remember. I was always flying. I would be flying above Chile, the country that I didn't know, the imaginary place you always told me about. I would fly, Chinito by my side, and we would see the blood run through the streets of Santiago. Papi, I'm thinking of going back. To Chile? Talking about all this has made me realize that there's a big part of me that is missing. I want to go back and reconnect to that, what you talk about. And maybe see if I can find out what happened to Chinito. I think that's a great idea, hija. But let's talk about this later. Mm. You need to sleep, papa. We all need you to get better. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Tell your mother to call me later, okay? <laughs> ciao, ciao, mi amor. Chinito. He is like the land... His golden brown skin glistens in the sunlight streaming through the unripe cherries. When he smiles, his eyes disappear, two thin lines across his beautiful face. He is my best friend, my brother. I knew you could do it. See? What did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. If you throw one more cherry at me, Chinito, I swear. Okay, okay, here. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mm. these are so good. I'm going to miss them when we leave. Are there cherry trees in Chile? I don't remember. I'm forgetting so much about Chile. There's everything in Chile. My dad says it's the best country in the world. The best. We'll meet up over there, right? Of course. I told you already, we're going to be warriors together, like Lautaro and Ayelin. Together, fighting against the milicos. You think I got what it takes? You're a compañera through and through. <laughs> you promise, Chinito, that we'll meet up in Chile? Uh, you and me, Marisol, we're connected by blood. You will be my friend forever. I'll be the first one there at the airport, waving a flag, and I'll have flowers for your mom and <laughs> chocolate for Carolina. <laughs> It'll be amazing, Marisol. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. You're so funny, a flag. <laughs> Chinito, we're going back to Canada soon so that my mom can heal. Maybe we can write to each other. But I thought your parents were going to make the return. My dad says it'll be a few more months. My mom... Yeah. But we can write... And then when my mom is better, we'll return to Chile and we can see each other again? Yeah, sure, Marisol. <gasps> Chinito! Marisol! This is where it ends. I fall. Feel the earth rise beneath my feet, involuntarily moving me through time and space into the void. With nothing, no one to catch my fall, I plunge deep into that moment. Caught between reason and faith, I feel the air leave my body. The impact of the fall causes thousands of tiny needles to rush to the surface of my skin. 
my arms and legs paddling violently in the air as I feel the earth's body caress my skull. The ground reaches out to me and gently crushes the cartilage in my nose. It is a slow, shot-by-shot, breath-by-breath moment. Gravity moves me, and there is nothing I can do but give in. This is where time stands still, and I realize I am no longer the child of refugees playing with my new friends. I am something more and something less. I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful story. Thank you for listening to Radio Luna Theater's Studio Series. El Retorno, I Return, was developed with the support of the Ontario Arts Council, the Toronto Arts Council, and Why Not Theater's Riser Project. This recording was produced by Aluna Theater with the following cast. Margarita Valderrama as Marisol. Francisco Trujillo as Jaime. Marilón Núñez as Verónica, Sofía Rodríguez as Carolina, y Augusto Bitter as Chinito. Written by Marilón Núñez, translation by Marilón Núñez with support from Francisco Trujillo, direction and dramaturgy by Beatriz Pisano, sound design by Brandon Valdivia, sound editing by Lucia Linares, sound engineer Steph Raposo, script coordination Camila Díaz Varela, Head of Production, Monica Garrido. Radio Aluna Theatre is produced by Aluna Theatre with support from the Toronto Arts Council, the Ontario Arts Council, the Canada Council for the Arts, the Department of Canadian Heritage, the Medca Foundation, and TD Bank. All Radio Aluna Theatre episodes are in English, Spanish, or Spanglish. New episodes of Radio Aluna Theatre are released on Wednesdays. Follow and subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and wherever else you get your podcasts. Aluna Theater is Beatriz Pisano and Trevor Schwelnos with Sue Ballant. For more information about Aluna Theater, visit us at alunatheater.ca, follow Aluna Theater on Twitter or Instagram, or like us on Facebook. <laughs>